आई एम किरण मोदी फाउंडर मैनेजिंग ट्रस्टी ऑफ उदयन के उदयन मीन सनशाइन एंड उदयन वॉज ऑल्सो नेम ऑफ माई सन सो एक्चुअली द नेम इज डिड फ्रॉम देयर बट द आइडिया इज टू ब्रिंग सनशाइन इन टू डिसएडवाटेज लाइफ देन आई रिमेंबर माई नेम इज इजल सानी आई एक्चुअली एम फ्रॉम इंग्लैंड डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड एंड टू वन and uh, i joined because i suffered a personal tragedy similar to kevin modi actually and our life stories are very similar and i wanted to um overcome my sadness let's put it like that by doing something for other people i'm pamela bhandari actually i was with the indian revenue service then 2010 or 11 um you know one of my very close friends childhood friend she was a mentor mother in the home uh, that isabel also is there and uh, she was to go abroad for a month and she wanted me to just substitute for her you know, for a month that's how i used to then go regularly to the home and uh, as isabel said once you visit the home and you meet the children you fall in love with them hi my name is jessica dubu and i am the production and design executive at uh, odian care and i work with the production and designs with the skill development center department you know i visited one of the orphanages and there one child just held on to my clothes and he said please take me home i can never forget that experience and i realized children go to these homes as orphans and they come out also as orphans from there the, the desire became how do i set up family homes where children feel that they are being raised in a family they develop that sense of attachment that disrupted you know family bonding how do we help them repair that when i started it was a real small dream just to look after 12 children like my own but very soon when more people started joining me as mentors as volunteers as staff members i started realizing that you know we can do so much more my confine yourself and from there the idea grew and uh, i think from the beginning family strengthening was the thread which kept us together if you look at from the ghar program somebody coming out uh, you know and who goes abroad for a stint in hospitality there she doesn't eat properly and she tries to collect money so that when she comes back she can donate to the organization i mean from there to another girl who has been able to get into nift because she wanted to study fashion and from the beginning we actually you know kept her desire alive and finally she got into nift and she is a designer today working with a big fashion house and to mother or mentor father also we have now so a mentor parent is someone who doesn't actually stay with the children and look after their daily needs as such but they are people who live fairly close by to the children's home and they visit them as often as they can and they spend time with the children sometimes they help them with the with their home but sometimes just sit with them so as a production and design executive i work with the women and the children who take part as interns in the various skills that we provide under the skill development program uh, so the various skills that we provide uh, as courses vocational courses are uh, stitching then we have beauty therapy and then we have block printing sign we try that these designs are you know inspired by various different concepts it's either recycled upcycled repurposed i have done a lot of uh, experience with different designers i had an internship in global desi i have worked with again in an internship with uh, anita rora who has ferro as her design label um and then i've also had an internship with burberry and The thing with me is that I get bored doing one thing, just one thing. And I was thinking myself during um applying for jobs that you know, look at my resume. It's like literally all over the place. Kabi ye acha lag raha hai, kabi ye acha lag raha hai. And so I think uh, this was the perfect job role for me because further down the line I was also wanting to open something of my own. So I think you know her grow her role in the organization is just growing. She came in as a designer. but i think you know we can depend on on her for just about everything not only she designs beautifully but she also gets involved in the operations she goes to the center you know trains these women 
who are coming from disadvantaged backgrounds, trains them how to do things well, at, and you know, produces, makes inventories. I think that's about just about everything. And we are very lucky to get her. And I just hope more of your students join different NGOs. Because now the psychologists who go to the children's home, they're using art because they say, for what the children draw, you can also see their background, what to them. Um, especially if they've been sexually abused, sometimes what they draw in their pictures, it's a, an instant sign that this child has been sexually abused. But other than that, it's a way for them to express themselves without feeling different from the rest. Social media is one, you know, way you can just reach out to a larger number of people. So we'll do that marketing through social media. And then on our website, we'll have those payment gateways and all that, you know, means to which people send their products these days. And what best than to have a role wherein you get to delve and dive into each, you know, kind of uh, category or department of an already established uh, NGO. And I get, I get to explore things I wouldn't have otherwise. It's, it's not necessary that the approach for a fashion student be a trickle down kind of a theory wherein you have these big de designers we learn from. It could be a trickle up theory, which most people forget about. Here, working in the NGO, I have learned, you know, with designers, you get carried away and you start designing things and you don't keep a record. You get carried away so easily, you don't keep a record of those little things, the cost of things, how to use it up 100%. And, you know, that's where the sustainability part or using everything up 100%, not making waste. So here, what I learned was using up everything, basically, and uh, trying to make the best of what you have. So I that it was totally organized in-house, you know. Jessica designed the outfits, the garments, and our own children from different homes. They were the models. The makeup was done by one of our ex-home children. So everything was organized in-house, and the board show was really appreciated and the children had a you know, time of their life that was so thrilled. Uh, it's my favorite line from Gone with the Wind, tomorrow is another day. So I always believed in it. And uh, these children reiterate for me every single day. It's so much of trauma, abuse, poverty, the, uh, apathy, you know, these kind of backgrounds they come and they still look up because tomorrow is another day.